gone over in other videos, this company right here is not a legal company. Pepin Woods, that's in Minnesota. It says Continental Communities. It's a tax record. Okay, for Flamingo Terrorists, uh, that's the one in Anoka County. It's care of Continental Communities, too. I'll see another company that's not registered in Minnesota. We already went through some of this. This is some of the stuff that they put out based on their website. Okay, and this is put out by Continental Communities. Okay, brought to you by Continental Communities. Lease to home op options. Uh, the responsibilities by Continental Communities. They partner with you. Okay, they're LinkedIn. They're a company. Wendy works there. Supposedly Sherry Saxon works there. Okay. Okay, so near Continental Communities. She's a property manager there. Okay, she so also works at the, the sales division, but a Continental Communities LLC, that's another company that doesn't exist. For court records, you know, this is in Ohio. Continental Communities LLC, another business that doesn't exist, doing business as the Willows. The Willows one gets real interesting. Okay, Continental Communities claims to own it. Okay, this is stuff from the Minnesota Department of Commerce. If you go to find, put in Continental. Continental Communities right there, they sent stuff to and it's the same address. Minnesota Housing Finance Authority, same thing. Here we go. Okay, Continental Communities, which is the owner and operator of two in Mankato. Okay, this is name submitted to them. Okay. And again, Continental Communities. This is one of their uh, other places that they own. Okay, the owner of Continental Communities. They, the park manager there uh, stole money uh, <laughs> for drugs. It's the reason why you can't give cash to their communities anymore. It's only check or money order. Or pay online. Okay, they also have had a home explosion at Hickory Hills in Pennsylvania where they didn't uh, do maintenance on some of their stuff for quite a few years. Right? Hickory Hills is owned by Continental Communities. Oops. And on that, we can go to the PUC, Public Utilities Commission of Pennsylvania. Okay, document search. I'm doing it like this because you guys can go find this stuff on your own. Okay, there's a document number. I'll give you a second so you can see that. Type it in if you want. Search documents. Okay, this is. I'm going to go to uh, one of the pre-hearing orders, and uh, well, first we're going to go to the answer to preliminary rejection new matters, okay? Because in here, in their answer, they provide this that has Continental Community's name on it, and also the website that we just saw will come more important here in just a minute. It's the same website that they've submitted to a town out in Colorado to try to buy property. It also lists Robert Fitzgerald, who's their COO and VP. Okay, communications with that logo. And signed, Vice President. Okay, and Patrick Dottie for their operations side of it. Another document submitted. Another one. Okay. So, if we go back, then it's the same thing with the answer to new matter. We're going to go 
do the the order here. It gets pretrial hearing order, and it denies the preliminary objections. Okay, it's the de facto owner of Hickory Hills. This has already been in court record that they're a company. Okay, let's go to the final order. That Continental Communities LLC. If we go over to the affidavit of Sherry Saxon, Continental Communities is not a business. Illinois, Minnesota, or Delaware. Same thing right here. Okay, and it's signed by one Sherry Saxon. This is uh, the memo of law for their motion to dismiss then continental communities is not registered in any of the three states the other companies are operated organized organized operated registered and right here continental communities is uh, a name used by the entire organization to do business but they claim it's a label or marketing tool not a legal entity okay but again they claim to be right here okay the town of mountain village colorado this is one i was telling you about okay continental acquisition corporation but if we go down to item number 17 on the town council meeting and it's the august 18th town council meeting for town of mountain village colorado we're going to go down to page 249 Oop, we went a little bit far okay 249 here and this is Continental Communities. Oh, that's right there is from Oh, they changed the picture. It used to be the picture that was up right here. Now it's a picture that's right here. Okay. Organizational overview. Continental Communities Holdings LLC, which again is not a registered business. Okay. And its affiliated and wholly owned entities collectively Continental Communities. So Continental Communities is all these companies combined. Okay. They've acquired 60 properties. Right. As of 2016, they own 49 in 12 states. This is their leadership. And he's responsible for all capital market activities and leading the overall growth and operating strategies. As the CEO, you got Robert and Fitzgerald. These were responsible for the portfolio management. And William McRae, Vice President of Acquisitions. These are a list of the properties that they own in locations, including one sold. They claim to have partners with these banks right here, but it's not a legal company. The Portfolio Management, Continental Community Management Services manages Okay, they direct the company's sales programs with Continental Home Sales, which is a subsidiary area of Continental Community Management Services. Oh, and then Chartwell they own, and it only does financing for Continental Communities. Okay, here's how they run though, okay. They pride itself on providing fast, flexible, and creative financing for residents who may not otherwise qualify for traditional uh, financing due to blemished or damaged credit histories. Let's go over here. At Continental Communities, they own Chartwell Financial. Okay. 
and they do it for their communities and only for properties owned by continental communities. Who's in charge of that? Cheryl Richter. And when they sell them off to the federal banks, they do not require the NFIP policies. If you contact a community sales representative today, and they'd be more than happy on, to help you on your way to home ownership. Pretty jazzy for a company that doesn't exist. Okay, and then down here, they do the website submission. That looks very similar to the stuff from the Public Utilities Commission, probably because it is the same website. Okay, again, they're not companies. Okay, this SEC document, Continental Communities is listed on there multiple times okay <laughs> like continental communities holdings this is their filing who manages it CCHM Inc whose president is Daniel T. Von Horace, the president and CEO of the issuer and president, treasurer, and sole director of CCHM, Inc. And Robert Fitzgerald. But, who did they get to do it? Lund Partners. And let's just look up something, okay? Bob Lund, Chicago. Oh, you, you did fraud? Oh, he defrauded Scotty Pippen. Holy moly, you're kidding me. No, he defrauded Scotty Pippen. And let's do one Bob Lund Continental Community. This one right here. We're going to go and search for Continental Community. Okay, for a time at least, Lund's touch was golden as an investment he would regularly cite as evidence of his acumen as Continental Community Holdings, a private owner and operator of manufactured home parts that by several accounts was a home run. Okay. And Pippin owned equity in them. Okay. But, by the end of 2003 he was no longer considered a viable person to invest in okay that's right in here so you can go read that on your own but at the end of 2003 so the SEC document let's go there and that says December 31st, 2003. Okay. Yep. By the end of 2003, the people Bob could go to to raise money were drying up. Nobody trusted him anymore, but Daniel did. Okay. Again, Continental Communities, the residents of that home park that was exploded, they tried to uh, get some stuff done, but it didn't. It didn't go through, but they didn't know it was a, not a legal company. Okay, another. Uh, this is Bank of America mortgage pass through. We're going to find. Continental Communities. Whoa, Continental Communities. Okay, Sunset Village, North Shore, uh, all these ones right here, right? Lincoln Park. <laughs> yeah, 
it gets interesting. And you can find this all on your own. Okay. Indeed, they're employing for Continental Communities a mortgage loan originator. I thought Chartwell, not Continental, did that. Okay, this is an article from the Star Tribune. We're going to zoom in and we're going to go find Continental Communities. Oh, Sherry Saxon. That's the lady right there, right? Sherry Saxon. Right? This is about then they purchased the place in in uh, Flamingo Terrace and they're doing the uh, expansion. Okay. Water bill errors for the city of Jordan. Continental Communities. Owner of Valley Green. We're going to go... Business search for Illinois and Minnesota. Okay. And I'm going to go back to the search real quick. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Okay, so we're going to go to Valley Green MHC first. Let's see if it'll open. Yep, it will. And then I'm going to go like this. Continental community because some of them are I did just T because you have uh, these two right here okay for Continental communities and then their sales too and then we're gonna go with Chartwell as well this is how you find out whether or not they're a legal entity right and then we're going to do one more in just a second okay it's a foreign corporation out of Delaware CCHM2 Inc. is the manager. This is for Valley Green. Continental Community Management Services. CCHM Inc. And this is a foreign corporation out of Delaware. Continental Community Sales. That's an assumed name. And who holds that? Continental Community Management Services. Continental Community Sales 2. CCHM2 Inc. and Chartwell Financial under CCHM2 Inc. Okay, so Chartwell, Continental Community Sales 2, and Valley Green are all owned by CCHM2 Inc. They're managed by. Okay. And here's the details. It's out of Illinois, their CEO is Daniel Von Horace. And remember, here he claims to be the sole director of CCHM. So we can rather easily deduce that possibly he's the sole director as well for CCHM too. Okay, but the owner or manager of Continental Community Management is CCHM. So this business does not fall under these guys by the managers. And we're going to search on the Illinois site. It's SOS Business Lookup. CCHM, we're going to go with that one. Oh, this one won't do the expanded tabs. Okay, CCHM Inc. Daniel Von Horace, Daniel Von Horace. CCHM, oh, that's three. We'll do two first. Two Inc. And that's Daniel Von Horace and Robert Fitzgerald. And then three is Daniel Von Horace. This has uh, been uh, dis uh, involuntarily dissolved. Um, but they had the third one ready to go. So they have one, two, three parent companies that hold these okay now the third one again they didn't do um, no clue why they actually created that one up but then we're also going to go like that I'm going to do it again sorry I'm 
And we're also going to look up the acquisition company. Okay, you have holdings. And they're held by the first one. Not it's CC, just CCHM. Okay, the holdings 2 is held by CCHM 2. And it, and one of the states, I think, is Delaware. They had their third evolution or revolution, whatever of it. Okay, this is Continental Community Management's legal name, the LLC with the periods. So this one up here in Minnesota is not valid. They don't have the periods between their name. They claim to be a Delaware corporation, so we're going to go with Delaware, doing business as lookup. And we're going to do the same sort of thing there. Okay. And the services management LLC. So that name legally has to be the same. Okay. But the sales is, is registered there too. Okay. So anyway, it's a lot of stuff that they're doing. It falls under the three main ones, CCHM, CCHM2 Inc., uh, Continental Communities Holdings, uh, their first and second iteration of that. And they actually have it a third iteration here too. Okay, but it needs to have the periods in between like that. For the two, it doesn't because it doesn't show that. But however you put it on there is what you have to do. Okay, here they have the periods in between. And they argued in their own affidavits that that mattered. Because the reason why they do that is because then they can claim in a lawsuit that it is not valid. And Cherry Saxon, okay, if you could scroll down on her page here, this is for LinkedIn. It has her six year anniversary with the company. And I'll just let you take a look at that real quick. And she supposedly doesn't work for this company, though, right? The continental community is like that. It's not a legal entity. Right here. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in. Two continental communities. Let's go back over to... Her affidavit and it's right here it's not a legal company right it's not a legal company it's not a legal company but Daniel Von Horace also does political contributions as if it's a company And he also I probably have to put in his name Van Voorhis. Yep, right here. It's a one million dollar gift that he did. Right? But he is the President, co-founder, and chief executive officer of Continental Communities. But that's a company that doesn't, doesn't exist according to them. It is not a legal company. This company right here that Sherry Saxon works for. Okay. So they've submitted a lot of names to a lot of people as a company, but they're not legal companies.